Hey guys, how's it going? It's Taylor Murray again, and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm really excited and I'm so excited because I've been playing around with VFX Craft and AR Foundation. I went ahead and actually created another effect for you guys so you guys could check it out. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be basically placing this effect in augmented reality we're going to be placed it on a plane and then i'm basically going to be walking through a tunnel and this tunnel is just going to be a very interesting experience so i'm going to be looking through the tunnel going into the tunnel turning around and then looking at the beginning of the tunnel so let's jump into unity and i start looking at it all right guys so let me show you what i have going on and this is a continuation to the previous video on ar foundation with vfx craft so as you can see the graph that i have right now it's kind of like a comet i wanted to create a a tunnel that was going to be big enough for me to walk inside so the idea was okay i'm going to be you know using air foundation but i think the cool thing about using air foundation is because we can do something in augmented reality so bfx craft is awesome it, it's cool and i i wasn't able to get it to work before in AR foundation so now with this we, what I'm going to be doing is basically walking inside and then we're going to be rotating and then looking through and make sure that the only area that I can see through in reality it's what's the you know what the, at the beginning of the tunnel so this is a, a demo of how it runs in unity the the other one that I want to show you is how it looks on my device so this is a demo I mean in my in my house and basically walking through I can go through the tunnel I'm rotating around and all of a sudden all I can see is you know the the beginning of the tunnel which is which is actually really cool I really enjoy doing this I never experienced anything like this so I hope you you like what you see so I'm going to show you the graph as well so that you have an idea of how how it's configured if you want to do something similar you can do something similar I'm also going to be putting this in Patreon so that you can download it and then you know try it on your own device so on the previous video i show you a graph and the graph was was fairly simple it was you know little particles and it's actually actually not that simple but it it was the look and feel wasn't really you can really see a lot of it so that's what i wanted to do something like this so this one it's very configurable i have you know i'm going to just walk you through some of the components and then we can tweak so that you can see what's happening so this one starts with 25,000 on the constant span rate. So if I wanted to do, you know, something much smaller, I could do something much smaller. And then, you know, depending on how much how much you want to have. And since we're using GPU particles, then, you know, I might as well just crank it up. And then I'm also using an iPhone XS. So it's really, it's really a powerful device. But if you're using a device that, you know, has lower specs, then make sure that you play with some of these settings. The, the other one that I have is the capacity. So I have the capacity set to 3748. Also the size, this is 232. And this is all coming from uh, another system that I created with my in, in Unity VFX graph tutorials. So if you haven't watched these tutorials, make sure that you watch this because I go through and you know create a lot of different effects with different tests. This one is kind of a variation of the, the portal that I did before. I'm using the torus, the position torus with a volume and random. And you can see like if I wanted to make it smaller, you can see that the torus can get, you know, much smaller. If you wanted to animate this, you can definitely animate it as well. So let me go ahead and set it back. If you wanted to change the, you know, the, the major, sorry, the minor radius, you can change it as well. And let's say that you want it to be inside of the cubes, you can do that as well. So there's a lot of different settings that you can change. Also, if I want to change the arc, I can change the arc. Maybe you want to do a half a tunnel, and and walk through that, or 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 get a different effect. You can do, you can do that as well. I'm gonna set it back to what uh, it originally was. The the other thing that you can do is you can play around with some of the different positions. So if you want to try, and do you know do something else, you can hit a space here, and we can change the position. And let's say that we wanted to use maybe we wanted to use a cone instead of what I have already, and then I can change the and remove the position torus. You can see that just by doing that, it's changing, it's changing the look and feel. And if we wanted to change this, let's go ahead and change the height and maybe the center. But anyways, it just gives you it just gives you a different 
different look. Maybe you wanted to do something like that. We can also try a different a different system. Let's do a different position. So we could do maybe a circle, which is which is similar to what I had before, except I was using a toro. So this one is a lot more precise when it comes to a circle. You can also change the arc just like I did on the other one. And you know, if you wanted to, I think animate this, this will give it a really cool look. I'm gonna set it back to what I what I had originally. So let me just undo, undo. And you can also undo just like I'm doing on this, on the node, on the VFX nodes. And it's really powerful because you can you know undo, 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 and let me go back to that. And this is what I had originally. So the other thing that I that I also have here is I have a force. So I wanted the force to to be applied on the z-axis. So if you look, the z is going to be the blue, which is going to go on the depth. And if you don't want it to have as much force, you can set it to something like one. You can see if you don't want to have any force at all, you can change it back to zero. And you can see that we have a torus there. Or if you want to do maybe a crazy force, like something like that, that also works. So let me go ahead and undo and undo one more. And there we go. So I had it about four, and I think that's what I had. And then for some of the coloring, I'm using the uh, the, the cube output. I set it to known. I added an add color over time. I also changed it to color on the over life. And then I'm just basically play, playing with some of the colors. So you can go here in color. And if you wanted to change the blend that is in this, you can go ahead and change it. I can change it to a, you know, just it'll give you different results depending on what you want to get. And of course, you can add different pins in here. And then if you want to have a different color there, we can just say, OK, maybe in the middle, we want to have it look like this thing is on fire and maybe something like that. Then you're more than welcome to do, you know, to do something like that. Actually, that looks really cool. So <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to leave it. Let me go ahead and change the maybe the beginning one and have something maybe darker. And maybe we'll do we'll do fire. Let me also change this one. And I don't want it to be completely red because it, it really it really loses the oh there we go. I think that's I think that looks really cool. So maybe we're we're gonna be walking through through a tunnel of fire and then as we get through the fire, then I think it I think that just gives it a really cool look. So maybe not as dark. Let me go back to that and set it back to something a little lighter maybe something like i think it's the other one that was affecting it the most which is this one right here and there we go i think something like that or even something about that and this is all comes to it all comes down to you know playing around with this and i'm not saying you have to have the, the settings just right it's just like with our you know you're playing around with different settings and then when you're happy with it then i'm gonna give it i'm gonna leave it like this i think this is gonna be cool and then what I'll do is I'll check this in and you can look at it in, in Patreon. But if you guys have any questions about, you know, anything that I show you, and please let me know. And before I wrap it up, let me just show you one more thing that is important to you, should be important to you in, in AR. If you notice, I have a different component here called VFX. And this one has an offset on X, Y, and Z. The reason why I did that is because I needed the parent to, to stay right at the, right at the pivot but then offsetting this a little bit so that I could, I could basically put this on a plane and it would look right. So this has the offset and this one is just a zero, zero, zero. It just allows me to move it on the, on the Y axis a little bit better. So when you place it in AR in a plane, it looks, it looks right. So that's everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. All right, guys, thank you much for watching this video on AR Foundation with VFX Graph. If you guys have any questions about what I just showed you, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers. And also find me in Patreon.com where I'm basically posting source code like the one that I did here and also early access to anything that I'm doing in the future. Thank you, guys.